Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Here to talk about what subscribers have heavy on their hearts between the dreams and the burdens and the worries and advice to all of us. We need to hear from each other sometimes. It's not always what Pat's Two Cents has to say. Sometimes different ones of us here on the YouTube channel, our subscribers, our regular viewers, the YouTube family, so to speak, has something to say. And they may not have a channel where they make videos, but I do. So when I see something that I think is pertinent, I'm going to share it with their permission, with their name and their permission, or without their name and their permission, because they put it in print. So obviously they want it to reach out to all of us. Listen to this. This is from one of our regular viewers three weeks ago. Hello, brothers and sisters. I'm in North Carolina, and my son is in elementary school. His school is starting a mindless meditation next year. I contacted the school and other parents, stating this was considered a pagan ritual. I never heard anything bad. Needless to say, my son will not be attending public school. He will be homeschooled by me. Parents, please send your children to school prayed up if you're sending your child to any public school. Listen, you guys, what we don't realize, there are demonic entities moving in the public school system. I remember when I was in in, in the third, second grade, I was in the second grade, and this one student used to bully me so that they could uh, back me up and try to feel on me and I would run away. Well, that stuff was happening back then, and back then was in the late 50s, you guys. Yeah, I'm old, what can I say? But listen, you can imagine what's happening now. They have found elementary school kids kindergarten, first grade, second grade, trying to have sex with each other because children are also being molested at home. And as they are molested and they start feeling tentilating sensations, they try to experiment with other students in, the, in their classrooms, whether they're in the bathroom or in the gym or they can tuck them away somewhere where they can't fight back. You have to pray for your children. You also have to pray because of the teachings. The teachings in schools are getting further and further away from that. Excuse me. They're getting further and further away from the things of God. They're getting further and further away from the principles, the teachings, the statutes of God. So it's an anything goes society. And anytime anything goes, you end up with two elements. The element of the characteristics of a zoo and the elements of the characteristics of a wild field where anything grows. Weeds, tumbleweed, anything grows. No control, no structure, no humanity, no heart. Do you understand what I'm saying? No integrity, no wisdom, no teaching, no guidelines, no parameters. No, no limits. Anything goes. So when you start seeing that the schools are, are mixing up these bathrooms and all these genders are getting all mixed up. Yeah, you better pull your kid out of there because trust me, they will fall for it too. Being a transgender nowadays is the end thing to do. Not with God, but with people. And as long as your child is exposed to any and everything, the, 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 um, the, the thing of uh, evolution, not biblical, but evolution, not God, anything else but God. Now, Satan is, has got followers that are distributing material in the schools and they're writing to get permission and permission slips from the parents to have little satanic clubs. Yet. It is a real political uh, controversy to have anything related to Jesus Christ. Think about that. Now, we as humans, we know what's good and we know what's bad. 
right? We know it's wrong to kill. We know it's wrong to rape. We know that. We know it's wrong to do pedophilia, to, to feel up on a little baby that's two or three years old, and here you are a grown man or a grown woman. We know it's wrong to sell kids into pornography and force them into prostitution. We know it's wrong to beat up on people and bully people. We know all that's wrong. But guess what? In spite of what we know is wrong, we don't want a God telling us we'd rather make up our own minds and do our thing. It's your thing. Do what you want to do. I can't tell you who to sock it to. That's the way it is nowadays. There is no God. There is no Jesus. There is no Holy Spirit. There is no right. There is no wrong. It just all gets mingled in there. And you're okay. I'm okay. Everybody's okay. And that's okay. And that's a lie from the pit. God is good always. When you see evil in this world and you're angry at him because somebody died or somebody was sick or somebody was abused or somebody was hurt or murdered and you wonder why does God allow that? He gave us free choice. And unfortunately, the majority of us human beings choose the wrong. We choose the evil. And then many, many people are hurt. Many people are defiled. And many people die because of greed, jealousy, domineeringness, whatever I made that word up, uh, being domineering, being pushy, being abusive, because of all of that, because we humans like doing it our way. And we like socking it to who we want it to, whether it's socking it or socking it, we want to do our thing. So, I say, pray, there is a God, there is a Savior, Jesus Christ. God is not the God that wants you to sacrifice and die physically for him. God is not waiting for baby sacrifices and animal sacrifices. He wants you to just give your life to him because he sacrificed his son for you. When he put Jesus up on, when he allowed his creation to abuse and, and almost mutilate his son, his holy sinless son, popped him up on that cross with all the cruelty and contempt that they could muster up. Muster up. And God gave him the power and the love to call out over those people and say, Lord, forgive them for they know not what they do because God sent his son to die for you. So you no longer need a sacrifice. He is the ultimate sacrifice. You don't need to bring fruits. You don't need to burn candles. You don't need to pray to angels. You go straight to the throne of grace to find help in need in times of need. And he will be a very present help in times of trouble. So I say this, pour your heart out to God. Ask him to make sense out of your chaos. And he will move you in the right direction and pull you away from all of this craziness. If you're willing to obey for your own safety. God bless you.